Hello everyone, Noctem Zero here, and I'm pretty friggin' late for this. I know it's only been a day, but I'm still late for this. But I just saw, well not really just saw, the Justice League trailer, maybe about 20 times now, 30, I don't know. Uh, watched it over and over. I wanted to see if I get sick of it after like the 25th time, but clearly I haven't been. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I thought the trailer looked awesome. I loved the way all the characters looked. And I noticed that they bumped up the humor level just a tad. Um, mostly, I'm thinking it's just because of all the negative response with the seriousness of Batman versus Superman. Uh, I'm also making this video because I... I mean, I saw Angry Joe's review of the trailer and all that. And seeing him being so overly, underly whelmed by it, 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 it just... I mean... I like his passion as a gamer and a comic book enthusiast and all that stuff, but it really gets on my nerves sometimes whenever uh, I feel like he's overanalyzing a little bit too much. Now, I know I shouldn't really talk about overanalyzing. I mean, if you go and see my Joker is Rorschach videos, you guys would know I'm batshit crazy, no pun intended. Um, but to go back to the trailer... Uh, I think it looked pretty cool. I'm glad they didn't show Superman. I'd rather they kind of save that for, like, a final trailer thing. And I'm hoping they do that. Like, they don't show Superman at all. That way it'll keep us vested in more, like, it, when is he going to show up kind of deal. I did like the posters as well. And the Wonder Woman trailer also looks pretty cool as well. I don't think I'm going to really talk about too much of that in that because I'm more focused on Justice League. But I will say the one thing about Wonder Woman, I'm glad they kept that really awesome, like... I don't know, Amazonian theme that she's got going. And uh, to go back again to Justice League, I like the way um, Victor Stone looks, but Cyborg, if it's one thing I agree with Joe, is that the look for Cyborg seems a little too stiff. Like, the, the look seems transformery on the bottom, and then I must have watched him talk so many times that I'm like, God, it looks like 4CG. I mean, Dr. Manhattan and Watchmen... It, it, you could, you would think that was a real person in, in, in that, but for this, the, I feel like they, they kind of scaled back on the CG, or they just really blew it on the budget on everything else, but the Flash looks really cool. It's like a, a cross of the Injustice Flash and the DC Universe Online armored Flash that we see at the beginning of uh, the intro to DC Universe Online. Um, Batman's suit seems a little bit thinned out now, so they might have modified it for this film. And Wonder Woman's look seems slightly altered, too. I don't know how I feel about it yet, because I haven't seen too much. All I really saw were the, the, the braces, and they did brighten up the color tones a little bit as well. Or am I thinking about Wonder Woman's trailer? I So I've been watching both of them going crazy and liking everything I've been seeing coming out of Comic-Con. Um... What else is there to talk about? I mean, they didn't really show too much on the story, and I really don't think those are new gods. I mean, I'm going off of what I've seen from Angry Joe's video, and again, I think he does great work, but I feel like he's he pulls too much comparison with Marvel all the time. I am a Marvel fan, but I'm not like an overzealous Marvel fan. I Really, the only things from Marvel I ever liked growing up were Spider-Man and X-Men, and that was about it. Uh, and oh wait, and Captain America, and that was just more of the comics because my brother had all those comics. So I never really cared for much else when it came to Marvel, and it was always just like a mixed bag at, at my house. Honestly, uh, I was always DC. I mean, anything DC comics related, I would try my best to be there. Uh, but yeah, the the movie it looks good so far. But I I feel like what they showed us was more or less just like rough editing, or something. I mean, because if you all remember the the Deadpool trailer, like from Comic Con way back when, before they finally released a more uh, the, the the public version of it. I mean, they did a lot of editing for that, and they did a lot of um, God, uh, they they just. I just noticed that that trailer looked a lot better than the one at Comic-Con, although I did see a low res, but the whole point is that I, I did notice a quality difference. So what we see is probably just what they're throwing at us right now, and we might get something even better down the road. But uh, it, it still looked cool. I mean, I don't know how I feel about um, Aquaman's eyes, though, as well. That that just seems a little too forced, because when you... When you look at Jason Momoa when they first show the still image, he didn't have those eyes, and now he does. It, 
I don't know. It's like I feel like it's like a last minute design thing, or maybe they just couldn't give him contacts underwater. I don't know. It, it, who knows how they're going to explain that away? But uh, anyway, I think the trailer looks cool. I really think Angry Angry Joe should just lighten up a bit and not be as upset about it. Cause I mean, I saw it. I was completely and just shocked by by just the fact that I'm seeing the league together finally. Um, because now it's making me wonder all the different things, like, is Steppenwolf uh, going to be the main uh, antagonist in this, or are there going to be other factors in it as well? I mean, are, are they going to have the Suicide Squad make a brief appearance in this, uh, or, or is somebody going... I mean, it's, it's there's a lot of questions right now, and there's not enough answers, but one thing I will say is I did like that they showed that full scene between Batman and the Flash meeting, and another thing I'm actually going to add, though, is I like how they're trying to differentiate the Barry Allen of the cinematic universe from the Barry Allen of the Flash TV show. I don't, I haven't heard anybody touch upon that yet, because, like, okay, so Barry from the show, exclusively he's going to have uh, yellow lightning or whatever that for his uh, flashiness. For er, Ezra Miller's uh, uh, Flash, he has blue lightning, and that. That's just a little bit weird. I mean, the hue is different from what uh, from what Zoom had, but it, it still looks cool. I'm just thinking, is blue really a fit? I've always, like, I'm pretty sure us as fans know that the the Flash's signature was always a, a yellow streak of lightning that followed him. So, I mean, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is that really a good way to go just by changing the lightning? I mean, that's me nitpicking right there, but at, at least I'm not being as too critical as Joe. I mean, he... I don't know. I, every time I've, I've seen his videos, he he, he bitches all, all too much about so many of the little things. So, Joe, if you're seeing this, which I highly doubt, uh, just lighten up, man. Also, it's pronounced versus. Good night.